For centuries, humanity stared at the sun from afar, eyed by its power, warmed by its light, terrified by its silence. But what if that silence was never real? What if we simply weren't listening closely enough? In 2018, NASA launched the Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to do the unthinkable, fly straight into the sun's atmosphere. Its mission was simple. Study the solar wind, understand the corona, and survive the heat. But what it saw, what its secret images revealed, was anything but simple. In its closest approach yet, Parker didn't just gather data. It touched something ancient, unpredictable, and perhaps intelligent. This is not the sun your textbooks describe. This is the star we thought we knew, and masked. And what Parker sent back may confirm our deepest fear that something inside the sun is watching. To reach the sun, you don't just launch and coast, you fall. Pulled by gravity so immense it bends space itself, Parker was accelerated to a velocity no other human-made object has ever reached. Over 430,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to circle Earth 17 times in a single hour. But this wasn't just about speed. It was about intent. The Parker probe was engineered to dive five solar diameters away from the sun's surface. To survive that journey, it carried a heat shield unlike anything ever built. A thick carbon composite shell always angled perfectly to block the unrelenting radiation. But even with all precautions, something strange occurred. In multiple passes, Parker's trajectory subtly deviated, not due to gravitational pull, but something else. Invisible, calculated disturbances altered its course by fractions of degrees. Engineers dismissed it as data noise. But inside the telemetry logs, a pattern emerged. Each deviation corresponded to magnetic spikes in the corona, as if something in the sun's atmosphere wasn't just chaotic plasma, but structure. And that structure may have been watching Parker as it passed. The corona, the outer atmosphere of the sun, is a paradox. It's millions of degrees hotter than the solar surface despite being farther from the core. This shouldn't happen. Thermodynamics says heat moves outward, not in reverse. But Parker's instruments, especially those measuring particle flux and magnetic fields, detected something worse than a temperature anomaly. They recorded sudden, massive bursts of energy without a clear origin point. Not solar flares, not sunspots. These pulses moved like waves, coherent, focused, and rhythmic. One burst struck the probe with such intensity that it briefly triggered an emergency reorientation. It was as if something had flared, not randomly, but deliberately. And when scientists traced the burst source, it originated from a section of the corona previously mapped as inactive. That inactive zone now flickered with the electromagnetic pulses unlike any ever recorded from the sun. Could the corona be more than plasma? Could it be communicating? If so, we're not just witnessing energy, we're witnessing intention. Tucked deep within the Parker probe is a tiny item most people don't know about, a memory card. On it, a photograph of Eugene Parker, his original 1958 paper predicting the solar wind, and the names of 1.1 million people from Earth, symbolic, poetic, and now possibly consequential. After Parker's closest solar pass, engineers reviewed data from the onboard systems and noticed something odd. The memory card's magnetic shielding had fluctuated during a moment of peak solar radiation, but not randomly. It fluctuated in a sequence. Engineers were stunned. These weren't errors or decay. These were structured binary shifts, data imprints, as if something had written to the card, not from Earth, not from the spacecraft, but from the sun. While no official statement was made, internal analysis compared the magnetic fluctuations to low-frequency modulated signals patterns used in basic digital communication. The question is no longer could the sun affect the probe, but did it respond? Parker was equipped with sensors designed to measure light at multiple wavelengths from visible to ultraviolet and beyond. During one of its closest passes, a strange phenomenon occurred. A segment of the incoming light spectrum appeared to vanish. Not dim, not scatter, but vanish. In the data stream, the ultraviolet sensors recorded a drop to zero despite the probe being fully exposed to sunlight. 
For 11 seconds, Parker passed through a region where solar light simply stopped. The probe's other sensors remained operational. The orientation was perfect. No damage, no shadow, just absence. When plotted on a 3D trajectory map, this blackout zone appeared as a corridor, precise and defined. No known solar process can create such a corridor of total optical silence. Scientists offered no explanation. Some hypothesized exotic plasma filtering. Others stayed silent. But one internal memo labeled it the shadow gate. If light itself can be manipulated in the sun's outer layer, who or what is doing the manipulating? During one of Parker's final data dumps, a stream of low-frequency wave activity was logged by its radio instruments. At first, it appeared to be ambient electromagnetic interference common when passing through the turbulent solar atmosphere. But when analysts reviewed the waveform, something caught their attention. Modulation, not random bursts, but structured pulses, spaced, repeating, carried on a frequency just below human hearing. One specialist compared it to Morse code, but more complex. What stunned the team was that the signal appeared to echo, a bounce back, like a sonar ping being returned, but there was nothing in Parker's immediate vicinity. No satellite, no debris, just plasma. So, what had responded? The probe software flagged the pattern as non-natural. And what's worse, it was not a single signal. It was layered. Multiple frequencies transmitting simultaneously, like voices overlapping in a choir of static. NASA never released this recording, but a fragment leaked, and independent cryptographers believe it contains a recursive pattern, data looping back on itself. Could it be the sun's own language? Or did Parker pass through a region broadcasting something far more intelligent? Parker's carbon composite heat shield is among the most advanced materials ever launched into space. Capable of withstanding temperatures over 1,000 for 100 C designed to deflect the sun's direct radiation, it's oriented perfectly during all close passes. But during a pass recorded in 2024, something breached it, not physically, but energetically. A spike in internal sensor temperature far beyond predicted thresholds was logged for just 0.2 seconds. No physical damage, no alarm. But internally, one of the radiation detectors activated, a system buried behind three layers of shielding. The energy spike had penetrated not just the exterior, but reached the core. This wasn't just solar heat. It was a frequency-based pulse. And curiously, it originated from the exact moment the light blackout corridor was detected. Some researchers now suspect that the sun is capable of projecting focused energy beams, narrow, invisible, and tunable across its atmosphere, like a lens, like a scanner. And for the first time, Parker wasn't just measuring the sun, it was being scanned. On its penultimate approach, Parker's onboard plasma imaging tools captured something bizarre. Columns of highly charged particles, plasma filaments, reaching out from the sun's corona. These weren't the usual solar prominences. These were structured, thin, and unnervingly symmetrical. Some extended thousands of kilom outward, moving in a way that suggested guidance, not explosion. Scientists referred to them as coronal fingers, temporary plasma projections shaped like spires. But as Parker passed near one, it bent. It arcaded toward the spacecraft, subtly shifting its curve to align with the probe's trajectory. No known solar model can explain plasma behaving with such focus. Charged gases should disperse. Instead, this reached. Only once in the data did Parker capture such a formation, but the image, though blurred, showed a filament with a spiral tip like a tendril. One physicist wrote in their internal log, it looked like it was reaching for us. No one in the mission dared publish that phrase, but within the team, they all knew what they had seen and what it implied. Perhaps the most chilling moment came not from what Parker recorded, but what it didn't. In mid-2025, during one of its closest passes yet, the probe entered the solar corona and initiated standard data collection. For 91 seconds, all instruments showed normal operation. But when the data was transmitted back to Earth, the logs were empty, not corrupted, not missing, just blank. 
The time stamp existed. The telemetry showed operation. But every byte of sensor data, thermal, magnetic, visual, was zero. No other spacecraft in NASA's history has ever had a recording blackout like it. The internal systems confirmed the instruments were active, the communication systems were functional, but the sensors were silent. Some believe the probe passed through an area that disrupted its ability to measure. Others suggest it encountered something designed to blind it. But among the few mission leaders who saw the full file, one phrase was scribbled in red across a printed readout. We weren't allowed to see. We sent Parker to touch the sun to measure, to observe, to demystify. But what it brought back wasn't just data. It was something else. Something no solar model predicted. Something no astrophysicist was prepared to explain. It wasn't just about magnetic fields or particle flux. It was the silence where there should have been sound, the pulses that echoed like responses, the structured darkness where there should have been light, the signals that resembled voices, and the hands of plasma that almost reached. This wasn't the mission we were told. Parker didn't just study a star. It trespassed into something older, something aware. And just before the silence, it may have looked back. NASA gave Parker a heat shield to survive the journey, but it may have needed something more. Permission. So now the final files sit encrypted. A memory card carries the names of a million Earthlings. And the sun, our sun, may never be seen the same way again. If you believe the truth about our solar system is bigger than what we've been told, subscribe and stay with us and comment below. Do you think the sun is just a ball of plasma or something far more conscious, ancient, and watching?